Welcome to the Community Web Portal tutorial video on how to register for the Community Web Portal. And basically, the Community Web Portal is the parent portal um, to see student information for the Danville Area School District, you know, including attendance, discipline, grades, um, and much more. And so to, to start this process, I'm going to go to the Danville website, danville.k12.pa.us. I'm going to hit parents and I'm going to hit the community web portal link. And I'm going to actually register. If I knew my username and password already, I'd put it in here and hit login. Um, if I forgot my password, I would go here. But in this case, I'm going to create a new Sapphire Community Portal account. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Ask for a keyword. The keyword's easy. It's I. R O N M E N, capital I. And hit continue. And then there's the agreement. Um, you know, this is you know the uh, normal agreement type. You read down through it. And once you've read all the information and agree with it, you click on it and you hit continue. And then you put in your information, your family contact information. So I am going to put in a Jason Doe and it's a parent and the address is one two three A B C Lane and it's Danville one seven eight two one Pennsylvania is already selected. We go one, two, three. Maybe one too many ones. Yep. So put in my number and then I put in an email. So I get it. And then we will put Jane. So, and the date is 2016, grade, kindergarten, school, Danville primary, and I have a second child, John Doe, and it is first 2000, you can also type it in, um, kindergarten, and primary school. It must be twins. So now I create a username. I'm going to just go with uh, Jade. Um, and I am going to create a password. And then my security question is childhood nickname. And it's to say I was called Jay. So important part is all the required fields are filled in. If not, it's going to yell at you and make you fill them in. All mine look like they're filled in correctly. I go ahead and hit continue. And that's really, you know, as far as submitting the application, the, the application is, is submitted. Our application is completed. Copy will be sent via email. And once your application is approved, you will get a verification email. So, this is an important step of the pro of the whole process is um, you know there's a lot of important information that's available through this process about our students and we we value the protection of our students um, you know through SIPA and, and HIPAA laws we basically you know you have to fill out the form here and sign it and date it and then it needs to be sent either via email um, right here or you can send it snail mail uh, as well to the district address or drop it off at the, the admin office at the same um, address so what you do is go you can print this and i would print it um, you can also and, and once it's printed you sign it off 
Um, if you, for some reason, don't have the ability to print, you can also go in um, to the office and print and sign this off as well. Um, but once this, this is signed and sent, you can go back to the login. So this is the email I receive once I've submitted an application. If I, for some reason, forgot to print my application and send it in, I can um, access from this email my application again, print it out down here, and then sign it and date it and send it to uh, the, the district office via email or snail mail it or drop it off. Um, if for some reason, again, you don't have the ability to print, you can do it at the district office and you know that will allow you to get your application in and complete it. It's a, an important step that this happens because we want to verify that they are the correct people that are getting these accounts. So we're going to skip ahead in the process and now the process is complete. I received my email confirming that my application was approved so I went into the and created a new account put all my information in submitted it I went ahead and printed that information out and signed it and dated it and sent it in to the district office they processed it and approved it I got my email here and now I should be able to sign in and get into the community portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click my link. I'm going to put in my username and password. And I'm going to log in. And there it is. It's all complete. And everything is set and good to go with the um, my community portal um, right now i can select either one of my students um, there's no pictures available um, there's really no information um, for these particular students i you know i'm in uh, dane here um, of course it gives us our principal, curriculum director, superintendent, special ed education director, plus a building number, fax, and address. Um, any forms that are associated that we have to fill out, um, this would be the area where eventually, you know, we will have our packets being filled out online. Um, this is the area. Um, there's a student calendar. There's any assessment scores associated with my student. Um, attendance information, discipline information, um, and here is the place for reports, which is report cards, progress reports, transcripts, uh, letters, and, and then there's a file cabinet which would show any other relevant information that was put in for this particular student. And then I can switch, you know, to John and see the um, his information. So that's it. That's all there is to uh, registering the community portal. Um, we plan on using, you know, the community portal a lot more in the future um, to make as much as digital as possible, make it easier on parents, um, plus to provide them all the information that they need in one area. Um, appreciate your time, and if you have any further questions or concerns, so you can find the phone number and all relevant information on the Sapphire Community Web Portal help. Um, it has, you know, a simple creating an account. Um, it also has direct link to the portal. It has address for the signed form and the physical address for the signed form, uh, or the email address and the physical address. It also has a phone number to contact. Um, and it also has some frequently asked questions. Um, so there is a little community web portal uh, help section um, out on the website. So if you have any questions, you can find the uh, appropriate places to contact people there um, on this site. And 
That's it. That's all there is to the community web portal registration process. Thank you.